Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins here on our YouTube channel. So I just did a video, talked about what's hot, what's not, and I wanted your insight on what types of stocks you wanted me to use for this video. If you're interested to find out what stocks I chose, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Always love bringing these videos to your attention. So as I mentioned, I just did a, uh, um, a video on what's hot and what's not, and we looked at marijuana stocks for what's hot due to new legislation possibly coming out of Congress to make uh, marijuana uh, legal on the federal level. And then on the what's not side, we looked at stocks like AMC, all right, and that were going down, but there's a whole lot of movement behind that, that whole deal with uh, stocks like that. And my question was to you is, I wanted to know what stocks you wanted to see today. Did you want to see more of the AMC-like stocks or did you want to see more of the marijuana type stocks? So the problem is I didn't see a lot of responses. So I decided to make three and three, but you need to stick to the end because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the additional information that I'm going to give you today. If you're brand new to the channel, by all means, please, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be alerted every time we have new content like this. And folks, you have to help a brother out. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, because we need to get the YouTube algorithm to get this kind of video out to everybody, because our job is to help you to become better investors and traders in the market. All right, let's get right to uh, what I want to look at. There we go. I'm not doing any stories today, all right? There's going to be no stories today. This is all going to be about three stocks from you or for you on the hot side for marijuana due to the legislation. As I mentioned, uh, there's new legislation coming out. It hasn't been approved or anything yet. It's just in its infancy phases uh, to get marijuana legalized on the federal level. I told you how many states have marijuana legalized, whether it's for medicinal purposes or recreational purposes. So you said, well, you know, I want to see some more of those marijuana stocks. So first things first, let me tell you, the marijuana industry, healthcare marijuana industry in the U, in the VectorVest um, software is number 221 out of 222. Holy smokes. You know what that means for me? That this legislation, if it goes through, could create a huge bottom fishing opportunity for marijuana stocks. All right. That's number one. And if that's the case, then let's take a look at them. But with today's market, all of these stocks that I'm looking at today are down but don't fret because they could be setting up. So this is what I did. I looked at some of the big marijuana stocks that everybody talks about. We got GRWG, uh, which is Grow Generation. I put in the index or the ETF for marijuana, Mary J. I call it Mary Jane. It's MJ. Sundial is a very popular one. Tilray is a very popular one as well. So I tried to put some of the most popular ones out there for you to take a look at. Um, and here they are. And let's take a look at them. So the legislation is starting to just be talked about uh, to, to um, legalize marijuana more on a federal level, right? So let's right click, let's take a look at this. And again, I wanted to tell you that this industry is number 221 out of 222 industries that we have right now. So Grow Generations, a great stock, but look at it right now getting smashed. Look at today's activity, uh, big down candle to 388 on an end of day basis is bearish. Volume is there. Not only is it going down, it's got conviction behind the volume, uh, behind the move of the stock. RT is below one. You wanted to see marijuana stocks, so I wanted to give you some of the more um, popular ones. This is the one that tracks the industry as a whole. I had it setting up as a pennant, and look at that. And that consolidation is broken down below. Man, oh man. So maybe the, in, the, the news wasn't enough to push the industry higher just quite yet, but I'm going to say just hold up, wait a minute, let me put some Congress in it and we'll see what happens. All right, but right now the industry as a whole is moving down. Uh, Sundial, 
popped, made it, and it's a low dollar stock, made a nice jump up to $1.49. Right now it's trading at 80 cents and still going down. I do have a level of support sitting at the most recent low. And then the last one is Tilray, another good stock in this space. But right now, as all of the stocks have been beaten up, and I'm hoping that uh, the legislation in uh, information will bring these up. So remember I told you that I, I, I did a little extra work for you. So these are big known stocks. If you own them, all I'm saying is right now may not be the right time to own them. I am not telling you anybody to sell it. I'm just telling you by looking at the graph, the graph is worth a thousand words, right? The graph tells me that the stocks, these stocks are going down. But wait a minute. I'm going to look at stocks to ponder picks to ponder. Let's go. I did something else for you. I made up another watch list. Weed on the move. So not only are those big known companies, but let's talk about some of the other ones that you may not know about. While well, you should know about IIPR, possibly know about IGC, but I don't know if you know about Rubicon Miner, uh, R-O-M-J-F. All right. And let's take a look at these stocks. All right. A couple of things. One, uh, IIPR has got a good upside potential with relative value being above one, relative safety above one. Fundamentally, IIPR in this industry is fundamentally sound and it's a buy recommendation. India Global, over its value, upside potential, not there. Uh, safety, not there. It's not moving up right now. This is more of an aggressive play. ROMJF, uh, upside potential, not there. Relative safety, not there. Not going up in price right now. Another speculative play. But if you look at the graphs, and let's go look at the graphs of these stocks, you know, I always like to look at a three month graph. Let's take a look at the graph. This is what I like. Look at the downtrend. Over the last two days, it's had an opportunity to break through the downtrend, but with all of the other marijuana stocks going down, it's still going down. I want you to keep this on your radar, all right? Especially with the, uh, um, the possible information going on with legislation. And then look at this, relative timing. I'm gonna move over a little bit. Relative timing is going up. This is a bullish divergence on this stock. All I want you to do is keep this on your radar. Next stock, IIPR. Gotta love that stock. It is definitely on the rise, coming off of a, a new three-month high two days ago. Nice open candle today to three and eight, a positive. RT is rising. Volume is pretty good. I like this stock in that space. And the last one is India Global. Now, what I do like about this is that the stock is at a level of support sitting at 146, right now, level of resistance. I like the open candle today. I like the tick up on the uh, relative timing. The volume is just not there yet. But if you like, uh, when I always talk about the three and the eight, the three and the eight are getting close to crossing. Once that happens, the stock's gonna have some upside and it's a low dollar stock in this space. Again, a stock that I want you to keep on your radar. All right, so I've given you three popular stocks to take a look at that's in this space. And then I've done the work by looking at the VectorVest software to find me other stocks in this space that are possibly on the rise, like IIPR. The other two are setting up. So that's the power of the VectorVest software to give me this information. Let's move to the other side. You guys wanted more stocks like AMC as well. So I'm going to highlight Buzz. Now, Buzz is an ETF that looks at popular stocks that are out there. But what people don't realize is that the stocks have to have at least a $5 billion market cap. So what I did is I went out to the internet to find stocks like AMC that were way shorted. Let me talk to you about those stocks. All right, we look at Workhorse. Workhorse right now is 34.82% shorted. Uh, I look at Clover right now is 27.82% shorted and CRTD, which is 51.87% shorted. So I wanted to find you more stocks like AMC that are in the space of being way over shorted. So that's how I came up with these stocks. And Buzz is the ETF that tracks a lot of popular stocks out there. Uh, these stocks not only have to be 5 billion in market, cap, but they have to have a lot of mentions on social media. A lot of people are talking about Clove and about Workhorse. And so I wanted to include those in there. Let's go take a look at their graphs. All right, let's go take a look at their graphs. Now the market is going down. How about the buzz ETF for all of these popular stocks are feeling the effect too. Always remember that the market's direction affects about 80% of the stocks within the market. So keep that in mind. What else? 
workhorse moving down, even though it's way overshorted or overshorted, stocks prices moving down. And that's a hot space. That whole electric vehicle space is a hot space and workhorses in it. Clove, uh, Clover Health, a lot of mentions on social media, Reddit and all that stuff about Clove. Plain and simple, it is going down. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but the stock is overshorted. So it is looking at stocks like AMC and last but not least, CRTD created business service manage, uh, service miscellaneous, big moves to the downside. So a lot of these overshorted stocks, the hedge funds are doubling down, tripling down on these companies to push them out of business so that if they are naked shorting out there, that they are not going to be held accountable for having to show up with and, and replace those shares. So then you've got the apes in the diamond hands out there that are saying, hold, 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 hold. Well, I'm thinking that at some point in time, the hedge funds may have to pay the piper. And these are stocks like AMC that are way overshorted that could have potentials to go up bigly. All right. So I said to myself, hmm, picks to ponder. I wanted to use the vector vest system to find other stocks that are low dollar that may not be overshorted, but that do have good upside potential. So I made another watch list today. Uh, where is it? Um, low dollar stocks. So I've already done some videos on low dollar stocks, but these are other low dollar stocks to keep your eyes on. Here's a stock that's been popular out there. People, a lot of people talking about it. Halidar Energy, HNRG, upside potential, relative value. This stock is a low dollar stock at $3.33 that has good upside potential. Now, the thing about it is you're going to give up a little risk. So this is more of an aggressive stock and it's in an uptrend, good earnings and positive earnings growth. SPAR Group, SGRP, uh, currently trading uh, relative value, good upside potential. Safety, you're going to give up a little safety. So this is more an aggressive play and RT is in an uptrend and positive earnings, positive earnings growth rate. CFMS. Uh, now this one, on the other hand, the upside potential is not there. Uh, the relative safety is not there. So fundamentally, this stock is not there like uh, at least the upside potential on HNRG and SGRP, but negative earnings growth rate, positive uh, negative earnings, positive growth rate. Let's take a look at these stocks. Notice that we have a buy, a hold, and a hold. Let's take a look at these stocks. Now, what I like about these stocks is that whole three, eight component. Look at the three and eight exponential moving averages. If you're not in this stock, I'd like to see the stock go five cents higher than the high. Love the volume, love the relative timing. And again, a low dollar stock using the power of the VectorVest software. Now, SGRP, I like the bounce off support, the three and the eight. Today is a down day. And it does create a candlestick pattern known as a bearish engulfing pattern, but it will not be confirmed until the next candle. But I like the three and the eight. The stock is going through a couple of levels of resistance. I now have a price target of about a buck 80 on this stock, and then it could go higher um, as well. And look at the volume. Volume has been pretty steady. In the last stock from my stock, Stocks to ponder, loving this. Stocks bouncing off uh, support, dollar thirteen, three and the eight cross, good up candle today. Very no wick at the top, big volume, RT above one. This is something I want you to keep on your radar. CF. MS. So you wanted stocks like AMC that were low dollar stocks that have upside potential. So I used the power of the VectorVest software to find these low dollar stocks that have upside potential by way of RV above one with the exception of one. Relative safeties, I'm willing to give up a little bit of risk for these stocks to go up in price. So there you go. I did a little bit of extra bonus for you this week or in this video. I was only going to give you three stocks on the marijuana side and three stocks on the AMC side, but I now gave you through the power of my analysis and using the VectorVest system to give you three other marijuana stocks for picks to ponder and three stocks on the AMC side or low dollar stocks with potential to go up in price as picks to ponder. If you like this picks to ponder and you'd like to see me do more picks of picks to ponder, let me know in the chat. Folks, you got to let me know. Use the chat functionality. Talk to me. Talk to me. Not only that, what are your, what are your picks to ponder?
And if I like your stock as a pick to ponder, I may make it into a video. All right, so let me know what your stocks are for your picks to ponder, and let's see if we can make some of those videos. This is your opportunity to talk to a YouTuber and be heard and get your videos out there as well. So with that, folks, I want to say thank you so much for this. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and chat to me. Chat to me. I want to interact with you, all right? So uh, until the next time, folks, this video is over. Until the next time I see you, see ya. Yeah.